Welcome back. Well, years of experience and plain common sense have told us that the only place you'd expect to find a Formula One car are on a racetrack and if you're in Delhi, the spanking new Bodh International Circuit. But how about the streets of Delhi? What about Rajpath? That's where Team Red Bull decided to show off their mad F1 skills and Kailash Menon was there to see it all. This straight strip is Rajpath. On a normal day, the speed limit is 50 km per hour. But today, it was closed and the speed limits were taken off. The occasion? Speed Street 2011 Delhi Chapter. Now, I'm here at the Speed Street 2011 and if I could just tell you the mood of the moment here at Rajpath, it's full of people of all shapes and sizes. They come here to see Daniel Ricciardo smoke this trip on his Red Bull F1 car. So, what are we waiting for? Let's kickstart all the action. Brimming with adrenaline was a crowd 60,000 strong. And kickstarting the action were the ghost riders. They wowed the crowd with their wheelies and stoppies. Renault 2 sashayed the recently launched Colios, but what really amped the adrenaline was the Red Bull F1 car bellowing at 270 km per hour. And soon after the first lap, we caught up with Daniel for a quick chat. So Daniel, since we are low on time, I'm going to throw some very quick questions at you, true F1 style. First, let me you know, congratulate and welcome you to India and to the show. My first question is, uh, how did it all start? Let's start from the start, I mean, in Australia, how did it all start? Go-karting, nine years old, uh, I started. It took me about a year or two to, to beg my parents to buy me a go-kart and, and to start racing. So uh, from there I was racing till I was 15 in go-karts, just in Australia. Doing, you know, quite well, but you know, not, not really the, the kid everyone had to beat. You know, I, I was in the group, but, but not a, a real standout. And then I, I did a Formula BMW in Asia. And, uh, and moved to Europe when I was 17 and, and that's where the ball started to roll and, and Red Bull came on board. Also, you know, it's quite fascinating how you were tapped out of cash and you had to really work for the budget in terms of you never thought you'd make it. So tell us a bit about that. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, I the first year in Europe was, um, let's say, quite a low budget year and, you know, I really had to do well to, to continue. I think uh, if Red Bull didn't come on board at the end of that season, it, it would have been very hard to to then continue. And, and maybe we could have continued, but in a, you know, let's say a, a low budget team, and, and therefore probably not giving myself any chance of, of doing well and, and winning any championships. So Red Bull uh, definitely helped help that. And you know, I think with with a lot of kids that have come through the junior team, they've uh, they've made a lot of dreams become uh, become reality. Also, you showcased your best in Abu Dhabi in 2010, where you were quicker than Vettel by 1.3 seconds if I'm not wrong. Uh, tell us a bit about that. The track was rubbered in quite well. <laughs> I don't know, it, it was a very good test. I think, you know, it was two, two days I was quite privileged to, to have the car to myself and, you know, it just won the world championship. So what, what, better, what better car could I be in? And, um, you know, I, the, lap, the lap was pretty good, but uh, I think the track was improving. It's hard to know how much it improved. But, uh, you know, it, at least I, I can be proud to say that it was a, you know, a good test. And I think the team recognized that and, and that's why they're giving me a, a chance with HRC this year. Also tell us a bit about, I mean, what does it feel like to be? Like right now you're going to ride on Rajpath. What is to be behind the wheel? What does it feel like? Tell, tell our viewers a bit. It's, uh, for me, it's freedom. I mean, you, you know, you're, you're in the car by yourself and you have the speed and, and the wind and, and everything coming on. Um, so for me, that, that's the first thing, freedom and, and, and adrenaline. Um, I think it's just a lot of fun, you know, and these events are, are low pressure. You know, we, we don't have to perform at a certain level. We just have fun and, and just see how crazy we can get the crowd going. So I, uh, I definitely enjoy them. Where do you see yourself in two years from now? Hopefully Red Bull Racing and uh, fighting for World Championship. Thanks very much for talking to us. Let's go. To sum up, Speed Street was a tease, a short and sweet sneak peek into the high-octane F1 action that Indian GP will bring along. Let's go.